This is video number 24 in the Book 2 series for bass students. And in this video, we are going to learn how to play flats. So I need you to open up to page number 20 in your Essential Elements Book 2 and have your bass really well in tune and have your tuner nearby so you can see it, hopefully maybe on your music stand somewhere. Now, remember, what we're going to do a little bit of review first. We've talked about this before, that every note, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all over your instrument, has three different positions. It can be sharp or natural or flat. Sharp is the highest. When you take a sharp note and make it lower, it becomes natural. Much like when we learned F sharp and then we went down the next note down is F natural. Now if you take a natural note and make it higher, it becomes sharp. Natural, C natural, to make it C sharp, we made it higher sounding, right? We went up the fingerboard. Well, up meaning higher pitch, okay? So now we're going to take a natural note and lower it. And that's how we get a flat. So I want you to put your first finger on the A string. This is B. B is B natural. Remember, if there's not, doesn't have a last name, it's a natural note, okay? We can say B or B natural, that's the same thing. So to make a B, to a, turn a B into a B flat, we need to go lower. Now, lower sounding. Not lower on fingerboard, lower sounding, which means we move it back here. Now you should be familiar with this position. This is half position. Remember that? You learned it when you learned G sharp. Okay, so second finger now is on that tape, fourth finger is on the skinny one, and then first finger is halfway between the nut and the tape. That is B flat. Now what is second finger playing? Second finger is going to be playing a B natural. We're not going to play B natural right now. We're going to be playing B flat, but that's where it should go. And what is fourth finger on now? Fourth finger is now on the note C. Okay, so we have B flat, B, and C. Those are the notes that our hand can, can play in this position on the A string. Half position. Okay, so you might be thinking, okay, so I learned that this was a G sharp because it made, made the G string higher. Well, guess what? Every note that's not a natural actually has two names to it. Okay, it can be a sharp or a flat, and I'll explain what I mean by that. This note right here, the one you learn as G sharp, also can be called A flat. G sharp and A flat are the same pitch. You play them the same way. They just have different names and for different reasons, okay? Now, here we go to the D string. This is E, this is E flat also known as D sharp. Now here we have B, we already did this, B flat, also known as A sharp. They're the same thing. All we're dealing with now are the flats. We'll talk about the E string in the next video because it's a little bit different. So B flat. Now, with all that talk, now let's go ahead and play four B flats. So first finger in the A string in half position, play four B flats, echo me. And go, B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat. Now I do two B flats and two C's. Now notice I'm not saying C sharp, I'm saying C. We are playing with fourth finger because we're in half position. Fourth finger now is in the place to play C. Do two B flats and two C's. Those are C naturals, by the way. Go B flat, B flat, C, C. Now do A, B flat, C, C. Play that. Echo me. Go A. B flat, C, C. Now, how do we know when to play a flat? Well, just like when we had F sharp, we had a sharp sign. It looks like tic-tac-toe sign, a hashtag, actually slightly different, but let's not get into that. The number sign, the pound sign, the natural sign is only needed to get rid of a flat or a sharp sign. It looks like the L and the seven put together, okay? This symbol right here is the flat sign. Now, it's just pure coincidence that the first, the first flat we're learning is a B flat, and the flat sign is shaped like a B. This is the flat sign regardless of whatever note it is. If it's a flat in front of an E, it makes the E flat. It just happens to be shaped like a B. That is what the flat sign looks like, okay? So that's how you're going to know. So look at number 92 in your book, and you notice that a lot of times in this book when we have brand new notes, they choose not to use key signatures. They choose just to like use accidentals, and that's what they're doing. So you see a flat sign in front of the first note, but that's good for the whole measure. Remember, accidentals are good for a whole measure. 
So if you look at 92, there are, all the Bs are actually flat here, okay? Notice in measure three that it says to use fourth finger for C. That's because we're in half position. It's not a C sharp, it's a C. You don't shift up, we don't want C sharp. There are no sharps in 92 at all. Don't shout about, just play with me. Half position, one, two, 92, and go. B flat, B flat, B flat. to 93. If you need to pause and read 92, go ahead. Go to 93, and again, we're not going to shadow bow first. I don't think that you need to, not for this one. You're just in half position that whole time, okay? Get used to the C natural being played with fourth finger, all right? 93, and half position. One, two, 93, and go. C, you're in half position this whole time. And bow lift. C is fourth finger, first finger, half position. Make sure it stays back there. One, two, 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 rest, rest. Okay, make sure that one stays way back there. A very common problem is for this to happen. Make sure one is back on its own, like always. Two, three, and four close together. One is back on its own. Go on to 94. And again, you're going to stay in half position the whole time. I do want you to shadow bow this one because this is not a familiar song. And so we might, with half position, we might need to shadow bow first. Shadow bow 94. One, two, 94. Shadow bow. B flat. Now C with fourth finger. B flat again. Three counts. One, two, 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 three, two, and second line. Now play 94 with me. If you need to pause and practice on your own, that's fine. When you're ready, play with me. 94. One, two, 94, and go. I want you to flip over to page number 22 in your book and look at number 101. Okay, now let's think about this B flat. This is where it's good to remember that F sharp became F natural. C sharp became C natural. Okay, now you've also done G sharp and G natural. However, these were all sharps when we had fourth finger on the tape. If you have fourth finger on the G string in first position, we're back in first position, notice that. Fourth finger on the tape on the G string in first position, that is B. It's already natural. So what happens when we take a natural note and lower it? It becomes flat. So this is B flat. This is B, this is B flat. It's the weird one. These strings, the fours are sharp, the twos are natural. 4 is C sharp, 2 is C natural. 4 is F sharp, 2 is F natural. Here is B natural, so then second finger becomes B flat. All right, now look in your book at 101, and I want you to notice they have you playing it in half position, okay? So you can play it either place. This is B flat. Whether you play it here or here, it's still B flat. See, listen, it's the exact same note. Either way, okay? Let's play it in half position, like the book asks you to do. And the reason they do is because of some things that are coming up later on, okay? Now notice at 101, you're gonna have to shift to third position. See that in measure three? You're gonna shift to third position and you're gonna be playing C natural. There are no sharps in 101 at all. C natural, then you got a D, and then a C, and then once you go all the way back down to half position, 
for that B flat, okay? Remember, B flat can be played this way. We're not doing that right now, okay? We're not gonna do that. We're gonna play it this way. Shadow bow 101, and one, two, shadow bow, B flat, go. <laughs> sounds for. Now try playing with me. Probably my bow wasn't straight. 101, play with me. Half position, half position to start with. One, two, 101, and go. B flat. B flat, now shift up to third. Back in half position. Okay? Now, I do want you to remember that B-flat can be played in first position, but we're just not doing that. Follow what the book does, because it's preparing you for something coming up. Okay, now, 102, shadow bow, half position. One, two, 102, shadow bow. B-flat, now shift. Notice, first of all, they forgot to write the Roman numeral three above that C. Hopefully you figured that out because you had to shift. It does have the dash one. So you got to hopefully figure that out. That's where you had to shift. And look at the last measure. You have B flat and then A is with second finger. Don't play A with first finger. That's going to be an A flat. We don't want that. We want A. Okay. Play 102 now. One, two, half position and go. B flat. Shift up. flats kind of straighten your head and understand all of that practice with your tuner on and then you'll be ready for your next video